please like, subscribe, share. It does help me out a lot. Welcome to Saint of the Day. Today is June the 2nd, and today's saint is... Martyrs of Lyons. The Martyrs of Lyons was a group of 48 Christians that were Greeks from Asia in the year 177. Some of these names were Photinus, Sanctius, Ventius, Apacavus, Maturus, Ponticus Biblis, Attalus, Alexander, Ladina, and others. They lived in Vienne, Lyons, and Lugdunum, Gaul. All Christians were forbidden to enter the marketplace, the forum, the baths, and even appear in any public places. If they did, they were subject to being mocked, beaten, and robbed by mobs. They were not safe at home as mobs vandalized their homes. Pictured here is the Amphitheater de Trios Gauls. Pole in the arena is a memorial to people killed during this persecution. They were attacked by a pagan mob and tried under the reign of Emperor Marcus Aurelius in Lugdunum, Gaul. They were accused of Thyestean banquets and Oedipian intercourse, referencing cannibalism and incest. Pictured here is the tombs that are a memorial to the people killed during the persecution. They were imprisoned until the arrival of the governor. You can find these accounts in Eusebius Ecclesiastical History Book 5, Chapter 1. When the governor arrived at Lugdunum, he interrogated them in front of the populace again mistreating them to such degree that vetius epacavus a christian and a man of high social standing requested permission to testify on behalf of the accused and said the governor refused this request and arrested vetius epacavus when he confessed to being a christian these christians endured torture while the authorities continued to apprehend the others two of their pagan servants were seized and fearing torture falsely charged the Christians with incest and cannibalism. What followed was the torture of the captive Christians by various means. The elderly Bishop Pontinus, first bishop of Lugdunum, was beaten and scourged and died shortly after prison. A slave, Blandina, was subjected to extreme torture. She was initially exposed, hung on a stake to be food of the beasts let loose upon her. As none of the beasts at that time touched her, she was brought back to the prison before being cast in a net and thrown before a bull. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Lord God, you give the crown of martyrdom to many. It takes excellent faith in you and your will to be given the crown of martyrdom. Please help us to pray for all that are martyred in your holy name. May the Pope stay strong in you as he leads the church. This we ask through Christ our Lord, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is the reference praise of all of the material that I used for this video. All rights go to them.